Hi y'all. Um, I am back. Kind of disappeared for eight months. Essentially, I lost my camera, which I was filming on, and I didn't have space on my phone to film on my phone. But basically, I bought um, iCloud storage, so now I can film as much as I want on my phone. And I'm not gonna lie, I really miss filming on YouTube because I kind of just went on to TikTok because it's easier, it takes less space and less editing and everything. But it's just like not the same. I don't know. Because I was just looking at my own videos, I'm like, wow, I put so much like in depth analysis into everything. And I'm like, wow, like I just miss it. You know what I mean? So I'm back. Um, I've been reading manga since I last time I filmed. I just haven't been filming it on here for you to see essentially life changes quit my full-time job back in school to become a teacher that's fun and so now being a full-time student again um manga halls unfortunately will just no longer exist but it is what it is so yeah basically this video is going to be what i've been reading lately in the past couple weeks um and my thoughts about it and as well a small little manga haul like two packages smaller packages and i know i said i'm a student now but like after this month i'm like cut off you know what i mean like i just finished working so I'm just like, okay, let me just quickly get what I need and then like survive the next two years in Dieter's College. <laughs> also, it's Indigo's 25th birthday, so they were having a sale, so I did take advantage of that. So you may see, so you may see a manga haul coming soon again. That's like quite big because I can't control myself when there is any type of sale because it's not often. So yeah. <laughs> So one of the things I've been reading lately is the Phantom Tales of the Night, um, and I am really loving it. Like I feel like this series was actually made for me. I don't know, it just has every element that I could possibly want. Um, you know, it has that mystery, it has that like supernatural level, it has, you know, dark, sad tales entwined into it. And um, all the, the main characters are very entertaining, and I just want to know more about each one in their background and like their past essentially the story is about an inn that's kind of secluded and like secretive and it's hard to find but once you find it you become a guest and being becoming a guest in this inn you essentially have to give one of your secrets to this guy over here and once you give the secret it's very it's a little complicated because some survive some do not survive it's very episodic though sometimes with a lot of short stories but um somehow there is a big overarching story surrounding the main characters you repeatedly see and um i'm just always very curious to see more about their dark past and the way that it discusses emotions feelings and how that become personifies it and you see a lot of instances in which um those emotions and those feelings can be taken advantage of and can lead you down to your demise essentially um and yeah the art style is just so stunning i am obsessed with it reading this is such a treat for me every time i'm starting a new, I start a new volume um i just fall right into the world and and just like basically i'm in love with it honestly for me it is such a great read all the, like, the recurring main characters are so great um they all bring something to the table and yeah, that's my review on Phantom's Tales of the Night. Um, I would rate it probably a 9 out of 10. I just really enjoyed reading it. I have more of the series. I'm missing <laughs> volume 4 unfortunately, so I'm waiting for that to come in. And then I can continue reading because I essentially have the rest of what's out right now. Um, um, I'm also slowly but surely reading Jujutsu Kaisen. I'm currently on volume 7, halfway through volume 7. Um, I'm just trying to catch up. <laughs> I am 10 volumes behind from the most recent English volume print, so I'm trying to speed it up. I'm almost done what would have been considered like the end of the anime, like in the manga side. So I'm excited to finally get past what I already watched <laughs> reading it to like fresh content. Um, I'm really just trying to be caught up for when the second season comes. Um, but yeah, I love Juicy Kaisen. Um, I'm not a shonen girl, trust me. <laughs> I don't read that much shonen, but um, there's something about Juicy Kaisen that I just love. It's probably just the characters. I think I 
I think I could read any series about anything if I love the characters. Like the characters to me is like the most important part. Um, like if I can relate to the characters, if I can feel like me and these characters could have been best friends, I'm I'm full in. You know what I mean? Um, of course, a good story helps too, and I think Jujutsu Kaisen has a bit of everything. So yeah, this volume in particular, would I rate it? Um, probably an eight out of ten. But I am a little biased because I do just really like the series in general. But next time I filming <laughs> me reading what I've been reading lately, I hope I'm like at least at least volume 12 like that's like a goal for mine next time i'm filming a video of me talking about what i've been reading lately lately i better be at least at volume 12. <laughs> like put a gun to my head if i don't <laughs> a, a series i started and i really like so far only one volume in so i don't know where the story's gonna really go but i really like how the story was like put down for me to like ooh, i wanted to read the next volume like crazy and that was um i don't know how to say it in japanese so i'm just gonna say the english name for a generic romance um this series is made by the same mangaka that made After the Rain and After the Rain was one of the first mangas that I purchased physically because I just loved it so much um, and I feel like I'm probably gonna really love this series as well. It is so interesting. It has like some type of like weird dystopian vibe to it but at the same time it's like touching on like very like interesting topics the way this volume ended, I was like, whoa, well, I kind of saw it coming, but still having it be delivered like that, I was like shook. So um, I'm really excited to see where this goes. I just like how mature it feels. Um, and at the same time, it's just, it's very interesting. The story essentially is about this weird city that's very nostalgic and they don't really change much. Um, and there's something about it feels very like time has stopped um and the main character this lady over here she just works a regular job and you know she you know like the story seems like a normal story she works a normal, regular job she kind of has a crush on the guy she works with and it's just her go to go the day of life but there's of course things that are going on that's not 100 percent certain it's, like it feels odd it feels off and obviously we haven't really gotten to know exactly what's going on yet but i'm excited for um this story to continue um and to find out what the heck is going on <laughs> like what happened like you know what i mean but yeah what a great first volume for me personally i'm gonna give it like a 10 out of 10 i really enjoyed this volume and i'm ready to buy the next volume that comes out like i don't it's probably next year knowing how things go it's probably like march of next year which makes me really sad but i'm excited <laughs> and nonetheless the most recent one i've read like i've just literally i bought it yesterday read it yesterday became like absolutely obsessed with and it's i'm gonna be a crown princess Oof. one of like the more recent ones from um seven seas like brand of steamship it's supposed to be for like older women um but yeah definitely um 18 plus the series yeah there's those type of scenes in here definitely there's definitely mature scenes that are occurring in the series so that's something to be mindful of if you like or don't like that stuff in your manga um but i just love these two characters they're both so cunning and so smart and so like mischievous in a sense like they both play off each other really well and i just love that it's not a sense i I wouldn't say enemies to lovers, but at the same time, it doesn't have an enemies to lovers vibe to it, and that's like my favorite trope. So I really like this. I'm not even really a big Isekai fan, but still, it just looked really like it caught my attention. I really liked it. Um, yeah, so I was so obsessed yesterday. I literally tried to read it online. There's really only one more volume available I could read online, and that was it. And so, first volume very very spicy very whoa crazy um very attention grabbing loved it second volume was more you know getting to know more characters getting to know um main character liddy more and you know um 
putting new characters in, building up the story, and which was really good as well. Uh, all I gotta say is second male role lead syndrome to not occur with me. I hope he does not get in the way of these two characters, that's all I'm gonna say. Um, but yeah, I really liked it. What would I rate this? Generally, for me, 10 out of 10, because I was like really invested. Like, if um, after I read this, uh, because for me, if and say if I'm reading a volume of something and like I'm trying to finish it, like I'm just, and then I'm like, okay, I'm finally done this volume, that's a problem. This one, I was done with no, I need more. I need more of this. I need to know what's gonna go, how, what's gonna go down. You know what I mean? So, um, yeah, actually, no, I'm gonna put this down to a 9 out of 10 for one reason, one reason only. Um, okay, it's totally fine that she's like only 18, I guess, but for me, it's just weird. It actually like took me out of the story for a, a bit. I was like, well, um, when I found out she was 18, like it's just weird, you know what I mean? Like, I know she's legal and everything, I know it's a fantasy, so things also get more distorted the fantasy and stuff like that, and like royal stuff, you know how royalty everyone's getting married and do stuff young. I get it, but it still just took me out a bit. And like, if you want to have a little age gap between them, they're three years apart, um, maybe make her the 21 year old and make him the 20, 24 year old, you know what I mean? That's just my opinion. I don't know. I, it bothered me just a little bit, but it, like, at the grand scheme of things, I was still obsessed. So it's now 9 out of 10, 7, 10 out of 10, something because I just was like, why? <laughs> why 18? So young. When I was 18, I was, well, like, when I was 18, I was very boring. I was a very boring person. But <laughs> yeah, I still really liked it. And I was even considering reading the light novel because this is originally a light novel so i need to calm down i'm obsessed though so yeah. and the last thing i've been reading lately i thought that isekai like what who am i who is she i do not guys like i really don't read isekai stories like at all it's, that's the one thing i actually avoid usually when i go along the shopping but um the other world's books books depend on the bean counter what a weird title like what okay um but whoa why am i obsessed as well um basically it basically this workaholic like the guy with the glasses he's a workaholic even in this fantasy world and this guy from this world is like a magic soldier and he kind of just like wants to make sure he's okay and like takes care of him and make sure he's eating and make sure you know he's not burning himself out too much and it's just super cute um and i just i just love i just love these two together kind of like i don't know something about it is just very cute to me and so i'm kind of obsessed with the series too i get this maybe um an 8 out of 10 because i love it but sometimes i'm very confused with what's going on outside of the relationship situations like the magic part or the accounting part i get lost sometimes lost in sauce but it's still great nonetheless you know what i mean so yeah i really like this series and again i think for me now i'm just so excited whenever i see a series of people who are not like teenagers <laughs> like for me i think it's just nice to see it being like vocal adults so that is the other world's books depend on the bean counter i don't recommend if you like bl maybe even isekai stories this is something new i i've never seen a bl isekai so this is something fun and fresh you know what i mean i feel like i'm rambling um i'm still trying to get used to again filming again so i'm sorry i'm like literally throwing these books but yeah um, yeah that's what i've been reading lately i don't think i've been reading anything else let me check because i i make, make a mental note of it i don't make a mental note i make like i make a note i make a not mental i actually make a note of it um forgot i got this as well and yeah, i literally put a pop I literally put it aside to talk about it and I just completely forgot, but I read Momo the Blood Taker. Um, I just, I saw this in the store one day and it just like looked really pretty. I love the cover, the way it looks. And vampires, my weakness for vampires continues. So I picked it up without really getting to know what was going on in the series. I like it and hear me out, I think I would really like it if the vampire girl didn't look like she was 14. Personally for me, the vampire girl looking 14 rubs me the wrong way, wrong, rubs me the wrong way. I just kind of pulls me out. 
because I think this would be an excellent story if she just looked not like this. <laughs> like what? <laughs> I get it, she's a vampire, she's like a thousand years old, but um, you could have drawn her to look like an adult, you know what I mean? So I really like how the story was going about this guy basically seeking revenge on this vampire that murdered his wife and la da da he's part of like a detective, a dete um, he's part of a detective group. So I really like this whole like um, idea um, and I think it looks like very interesting, but I don't think I'm gonna continue to read it just because I don't like that she looks 14 and I have a feeling her and him are gonna end up together and it just looks very odd to me and there's some things I just don't really care to see in my manga and like I said characters for me is a big deal and I would love to ship like I feel like this would be so much fun to ship like a, a vampire girly with this detective guy that's trying to hunt down the main vampire that'd be so much fun but when she looks that young it just becomes weird to me and then i just lose all interest essentially so yeah I give it like a, a six out of ten um i liked it i think the art style is really nice and i think the way um the manga drew um like the fight scenes and like the blood and all that was like really well done so yeah and the storyline in general is very interesting you know but i think um i'm gonna pass on this for like the next volume and i'm probably gonna sell it check my depop i'm probably gonna sell this linked in bio i have other series as well i'm trying to sell so if you're canadian and I'm, I'm selling it for way cheaper than the price retail so definitely check it out um Essentially, you can see this, this like me just wanting to read things about adults. Essentially, like I there's only so much teen high school drama I can read without sometimes just getting bored of it. And don't get me wrong, like some of my favorite series of all time are literally teen high school dramas. So um, it's just right now I'm in the mood for something a bit more older. Essentially, um, so yeah, let's move on to like the two packages I have. One's from Indigo, and the other one's like a random Depop purchase. So yeah, let's start, which one should I start with? Um, we'll do start with the Depop one, because it's so pretty the way it's wrapped. Like, look at it, very pretty. With little flowers and everything. I was wondering why it took so long to get here, actually. I know what it is. Hey. So yeah, I got um, Pink. It is a fun one volume series. Um, fun to say at least. It is something else. I So Pink, I read this online actually a couple months ago and I just thought it was so unique and so interesting and so wow. Like I've never read anything like this before. And um, I just liked I just, I don't know, it's hard to explain, but it was just very, like, kooky, but at the same time, hitting on really serious topics and really important things to talk about. Um, and I mean, the background says love and capitalism, you know what I mean? It's, it's basically the series is about this woman who is a prostitute, and she owns a crocodile as a pet, and her, her eccentric life, and, you know, like, the, how she falls in love, and who she falls in love with, and her family issues around, surrounding it. It's a very interesting read. Um, it's definitely not for everyone. I know not everybody would probably love this series, love this story as much as I do, but I just really liked it. And I'm like, and I saw for on Depop be selling it for $10 when in retail it's like almost $20. So I was like, sure, I will take this. Um, and again, the art style isn't for everybody either. Um, I mean, the art style is not my favorite. As well either but i just thought it was just so interesting essentially it's about like a lot of cynicism towards society and like what occurs in society and how this this woman out here kind of trying to live far from that in a way but yeah it's a really interesting series what i like about it is it's short so you could definitely read this in one go um and you know you decide whether you like it or you don't like it basically that's what i can say like 
I, it's hard to say who likes it and who won't like it. It's just, it's different. So I know some people will like it, some people won't. But for me, I really liked it. So I want to add it into my collection. From Indigo, let's see. This is like the first thing that's coming from the 25th anniversary sale that I bought something from. <laughs> yeah. So I don't know a lot about it. Um, New York, New York. And apparently only recently now it's been um, licensed in English, like, like, in print so that's fun and fresh i already had volume two i didn't realize i bought volume two <laughs> when i first bought it and i'm like wait that's volume two so i have to go and buy volume one um and i'm really interested in reading this i feel like i'll really like it um it's from the 90s so i'm hoping it aged pretty well i'm hoping um it wasn't my tbr so i'm excited to read this because i originally was gonna just one day read it online somewhere and and then i just always forgot about it or always picked something else to read that i saw this one actually at indigo i'm like oh my gosh this is the series i've been trying to read for the past year almost essentially and i just always forget about it and i'm like why not buy it now and so yeah i got this hopefully i like it i think it's about a cop and somebody else i know I, there's a cop and then the other guy i don't know what he is and i think they fall in love or whatever in new york um and their trials and tribulations with that and 90s new york and being gay basically but we'll see how that goes but that is basically it <laughs> so yeah that's basically um it uh thanks for watching um if you're new welcome i'm gonna try to actually be consistent now um and if you've watched it in the past hey back <laughs> uh, thank you so much for watching i'll be back sometime soon bye guys